Five eighths mile track, final race of the night. Horse and gelding pace, Roger Houston has the call. Cam Luck, Ultra Jet, do run run bluegrass, ship snubs, odds against and Bays fell on the outside. Eight of the sports finest, there they go. Off and pacing number three, Cam Lock, fast out of the gate in the middle of the track. Down along the rail, the one cross, Keanu. Jake and Elwood racing third, racing fourth, Ultra Jet up on the outside. As they race into the turn, do run, run, blue grass. Down along the rail, ship snubs, yet at the rail, seventh. As they race around the turn, odds against running the field. Base fella as they race around the turn, going to the opening quarter mark in 27 and two fifths. The end of the stretch, passing it into the first time up on the outside. Jake and Elwood coming three wide, two run run bluegrass, and the battle's on early on. Jake and Elwood at the rail, two run run bluegrass, challenging on the outside, racing third. The end of the turn, Kim Luck racing fourth, Ross County. Fifth of the rail, Ultra Jet, Ship Snoops is sixth, racing seventh, odds against base, fella trails past the half, 54 and three, second quarter in 27 and one, the fastest half mile ever in the Breeders' Crown, horse and gelding pace. Down the back side they go. Here comes Cam Luck to grab the lead on the outside. Do run run bluegrass gives way second. Cross County on the outside third. Jake and Elwood locked in at the rail. Ultra Jet on the outside. Three quarters, 122 and four. 28 and one. Backside, fastest three quarters ever. As the race around the final turn. It's Cam Luck the leader on the outside. Cross County and Ultra Jet. Down the stretch they come. Cam Luck at the rail. Closing on the outside with a rush. Ross County coming for the wire. Ultra Jet third. Cam Luck. Cross County on the outside. Cam Luck at the rail. 152 and 1. Defeating Cross County and Ultra Jet. Cam Luck, driven tonight by Mike Lachance, was impressive at Lexington. 150 and 3, where he defeated Ramsey Hanover. In this, his first Breeders' Crown, the four-year-old Cam Fella Colt comes home impressively, and Cam Luck, the winner, with Mike Lachance in the bike. What an incredible contest here. I don't think uh, many people would think at that point that Jake and Elwood and Do Run Run Bluegrass would be virtually out of the race, and it's shaping up here between a battle now. It's Cam Luck and Cross County, and Ultra Jet is there, but no Jake and Elwood, no Do Run Run Bluegrass. They kind of beat themselves to death by the half and 54 and three. Mike Lachance was not about to let himself get caught in. Came rolling out after that half and uh, pretty much held on strongly here. A great drive by Mike Lachance, very heady drive. The four-year-old Bay Horse and Cam Luck for trainer Bob McIntosh who gets a double tonight. He had delinquent account and now he has Cam Luck. Back-to-back -back wins for McIntosh. What an evening for him. Cam Locke has an unusual marking on his forehead. You might see it there, a white mark shaped exactly like a shamrock. It must have brought him luck tonight. The winning driver, Mike Lachance, the presenter in the winner's circle, Andy Grant Jr., president of the Hamiltonian Society. Congratulations to Cam Locke and the horse and gelding pace. Here are the returning prices in the last race. Cam Locke, 784, 40, and 480. Cross County, $6 and 480. Ultra Jet, $8 to show. Time of the mile, 152-1, and one, a new track record for that age. Right now, let's go to John Pavlock. You know, we talked all week, Mike Lachance, about the big two in this race, but I think Cam Luck was a little bit overlooked in here tonight. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, it was just a matter of uh, racing luck, and uh, the, uh, the best horse went to the front, and the, the horse I had to beat, and uh, they cut pretty uh, fast fraction to the half, and I was just there to pick up the pieces there. All right, let's take a look at the replay. We're going to be going to the half. We're down in front of the grandstand the first time, and they've gone through the first quarter here, Mike, in 27-2, and two, and they're still motoring on the front end. Yeah, well, I took uh, John for a piece there with uh, Jake and Elwood, and uh, I thought he was going to park the do run run, but the do run run came like uh, pretty uh, fast on the outside, so yeah, I guess he had to let him go. And when he, when he hit the front there, half and 54 like that, I knew he was going to get tired at the end, though. So in the back stretch, I took a shot that says, I'm just going to set on the outside. And when I said he was uh, weak, I just went around him, and then that's, that's how I won the race. 
Yeah, okay. Let's bring in Bob McIntosh too, Bob. And now Mike really makes the winning move going down the backside here as he pulls the pocket. And really, it's a tremendous move. This Colt has a big motor. He's got a big brush that third quarter. When he uh, made a by do run, I was feeling pretty confident then. And uh, once he made the front, then it was just a matter of who had the most heart. And the horse came up big, and Mike drove him good. Mike, you had to feel awfully good at this point because uh, the speed, as we've seen tonight, is not holding up, and uh, they weren't coming at you until someone came up on the outside. Yes, but, you know, uh, it, an even feel like that there, you know, you're confident that you're going to win when you cross the wire there, and that's what I was. Uh, cross County is a good horse, too, so, and I was just hoping to get to the wire there with uh, enough uh, in, the, in the tank, but we made it. Made it indeed. Bob McIntosh, congratulations. Two winners back-to-back. -back. Two very exciting winners of Big Feather in your cap. Thank you. This is about as good as it gets, I guess. <laughs> so there you go. The Bob McIntosh and Mike LeChant show. Back to you, Bruce Beck. Cam Luck, the four-year-old Cam Fella horse out of the striking image mare, Lucky Lady, owned by New Destiny Stable, Windsor, Ontario, and Al McIntosh Holdings of Ontario, and bred by Jeff Standard Bread Country Club, Sacramento, California, and Princely Acres of Uggsbridge, Ontario.